Dude, go check it out. That's yours, man. <laughs> My name is Josh Baskin. I'm from Auburn, Illinois. I want this beautiful opiate to sit behind me off of LMP. Man, you guys just gotta make purchases, man. If you're if you're gonna win something this beautiful, heck, the next one's getting given away here within the next few weeks. Get your orders in, man. Buy some stuff. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We are in the third gen Cummins here trying to create some content for you guys today. So recently we did a video of trolling a 5.7 Hemi on the highway. However, that wasn't really what we were looking for. It just happened to be the only good sport on the highway that understood what I was trying to accomplish. And he was like, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Let's do it. He didn't go all out, but it was still a lot of fun. It was a good video. It was entertaining. We're getting on the road now. I gotta go pick up some supplies to uh, service the silver bullet over here. Silver bullet meaning the Honda CRV. And I thought I'm already gonna be in the truck. I'm gonna be driving it to the auto parts store to get oil and filter. change of plans we are now in the third gen third gen content was the goal for today but i was going to try to race people on the highway but here's the thing about that it's hard to find people to race in the middle of the day so i might have to do that later today or tomorrow afternoon so i decided let's see how entertaining it would be to show reagan how to use the ratchet shifter and i don't think it'll be hard for her to get it's pretty much like if you can figure out how to drive a manual it's like that, but easier. Basically manual with no clutch. Any words before we get started? Any predictions on how this will go? I have to keep telling myself there's no clutch. Yeah, it'll be easy. So to keep it simple, right now, all the way down and forward is park. To get out of park, you can just tap that front handle and pull it back. So right now you're in park, and then it's gonna go to reverse, and then it's going to go neutral, third, second, first. Pull the lever. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't need to pull the lever every time, but um, that should be one on the dash. If you're not sure what gear you're in, it does show one, two, and then D for three, lock up, and this is overdrive. So you're gonna start out in one. When you're going in one, once you get about 2,500 RPM, you're gonna go bump, okay? okay? And that will be second gear, okay? And then once you're going from second to third, you have to pull this, and it only goes forward a little bit. So what I usually do when I'm going into third, you wanna try to just pull this, bump it just into third, and then once you're in, just bump it like that. That's all you're gonna do with this when you're driving. Now, if you're trying to go into reverse, once you're in third, you have to push the R down. You just push that, and then you just push the shifter forward like that, and then you're, okay, yeah, I felt it yeah, you're gonna be in. So um, we're gonna take it all the way back down. That's cool, I didn't know this was an R. Yeah, yeah, so, and then once you're in third and you're, let's say it's pushing 2,500 RPM, flip that switch and this is gonna be lock up. And then once you, you know, that's not gonna like drop your RPMs down a lot. It was just a little bit, but not much. And then once you're probably, you're probably gonna be going 2,500 RPM, close to 45 or 50, probably closer to 50, then you can flip this switch forward and that's overdrive. Well, I'll just flip it on for the heck of it, why not? Yeah. So you, I can just let off? And then you're, yeah, you're in first right now. Okay. You don't have to like let off the gas when you're shifting or anything. I mean, there's a car coming really far. Do you want me to wait? If you guys are wondering, come on, uh, this camera's taking forever. That car was like a mile away. Okay, but... <laughs> it, 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 yeah, that car was so okay, far away. Okay, but I was trying to be safe. Okay, whatever. She's nervous. It's not my truck either, so... Be honest. Be honest, you're just nervous. Around 
2500. Do I have to pull this in? Yep, just a little bit. Now that you're in overdrive, when you're downshifting, a couple things you got to remember. If you do not flip off your overdrive and if you do not flip off your lockup, it's going to make all kinds of rattling sounds and it's going to want to keep driving. Basically, like if you were a tractor and let's say you got it in a gear and you don't put the clutch in, so to speak, and you just start like pushing on the brake, it's going to still try to drive. Okay, so what you're going to have to do is like when you're when you're slowing down let's say you're at about eh, 40 miles an hour you can flip off your overdrive but don't do it before that otherwise this thing is going to be like screaming rpm okay. see what i'm saying and then once you're about 35 you can flip off your lockup and then you can stay in third gear until you're all the way stopped and it's not going to like hurt anything wait till you're all the way stopped and then you don't have to pull the lever you can just pull it all the way back to one like that? Right, yep you're in. probably thinking, what's wrong with this driving so slow? Pay attention to speed limit at all, or what? No. <laughs> There's no cops around here. That was a little bit rough. Yeah, if you go a little bit too far forward, it'll like go into neutral for a second before it yeah. engages. You, so you just got to be mindful of that. That's why I said like when I pull it up to release the gate, yeah. I like just bump it into the gate, oh. and then I wait till I'm right where I want to be to shift it all the way into third, and then I just bump it, and it'll just go in perfectly. And like when you go from second to third, you type of that. Uh, yes, when you're going from second to third up, when you're just downshifting and you're stopped, you're just going back down to one, you don't have to like pull the lever at all. You can just pull it straight back. that thing you keep doing that thing where like what? you shift past the gear into neutral and then it like falls back into third you can shift it smooth like you don't have to like shift it fast like oh I gotta shift it because you're not actually like you're not that's hard to how do I put it the transmission is doing all the work like right. it's just sensing when you move it and the transmission does the actual quick right. shift all you're doing is positioning it to let it know I'm to just shift yeah, you're just bumping it to let it know shift now. Do I have to push this in from two to three? Yes, from two to three you have to put that in. But you can just you can pull it to put it into the gate for third, but unless you bump it forward, okay. it won't shift into third yet. He thinks he's cool, but he's but he's not that cool. 
because he doesn't have a 5'9 Cummins. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit back, shut up, and enjoy the ride. Exactly. Let's ask him if they want to race. I don't think this horse is going to like this truck over this bridge. Yeah, I don't. So it kind of keep your distance. I know. This is unfortunate. I there, love... There's literally like 50 Amish people in that thing. You know what? They don't want to take two buggies. Dang it. What, you can't take off now? I was going to come <laughs> around this corner and launch across this bridge. And I can't. Yeah. Trying to be nice. Technically, not. they're not even supposed to be on a camera, so. Dang it! I didn't get to do the pull I was going to do. You can do it when we pull. Freaking Amish, man. When we turn left. Freaking Amish, man. They think they can take it the whole road without their horse. Okay, power. we ran into one Amish buggy the whole time. We're like so. in Amish country. We saw one Amish buggy on the road. There was one, but it was right in the spot I was going to drive. Oops. I hit the smoke button. Okay. There was this one lady that we knew, and she thought that, like, diesel trucks had, like, hey, a smoke button. Hey, bro. She thought diesel trucks had, like, a smoke button to make them smoke. Yeah. And so she saw me in my truck, and she knew that, you know, I would say, oh, rolling cool, whatever. She's like, you should... Do the smoke thingy. Do the smoke thing with <laughs> it. And I'm like, the smoke thing? You can just blow smoke. But I'm like, what do you mean, like, hit the smoke thing? Like, make it smoke. Like, do the smoke button. And I was like, the smoke button. I feel like that's what liberals think. <laughs> like, they probably think we just, like, hit a button and we, like, hate the earth. So we just press it, like, every five seconds or something in their mind. What was that? What do you want me to ask you? I said if you need me, you better ask. Well, honey, of course I need you. But like, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'll I'll ask this question. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. Can you open my door no. Oh. Nope. I just wanted to get the better lighting for my side. I know there's there's some sissy boys out there that are like, I don't know if I want to drive it ratchet shifter. It's hard. Okay. I was gonna enter until I knew what transmission it had. It's difficult. What would you say to those? sissies if i can do it you can do it because i feel a little intimidated when i get in a manual just because i feel like as a female in the past i've had people like kind of like talk down to me like when it comes to that malachi now has taken the time several times teaching me how to you know drive manual i don't personally drive manual every day but now i feel like this is 
something I would want in Rosine. Like, it, it's really fun. And what did you say about this compared to a, like, traditional manual transmission? You're like, you know, this is... You, you don't feel as much stress because I felt like for me... Like learning it. Yeah, learning it because for me, I was so worried about putting the clutch in and not, you know, barring Giving it, it enough fuel and I mean, letting it out. there's a lot of things that uh, it'll take time. This is something you could learn literally. If I took you for a drive, you'd learn maybe in five minutes or less. Like, it's, it's super easy and I guarantee when you ride the in this you're gonna leave with a smile on your face because it's just super fun and i'm not just saying that because it's like our giveaway truck and being biased this truck is super fun and something i put in my own personal truck so yeah yep except she's got a humongous sub box in the middle so yeah, you know that kind of makes really. it <laughs> back to the design board. <laughs> yeah, back to the back to the drawing board. If you're wanting to enter to win this truck plus five thousand freaking dollars, all you have to do is go to lpgear.com, place an order, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win. It's that simple. Yeah. Simple. If you wanna if you wanna win a super sick truck. You got any questions? You email me, and I probably am the one that answers them. Yeah, <laughs> she, I, not probably. She is I going to be. She is the one that answers the emails. <laughs> And some guy was like, oh my gosh, I emailed you guys yesterday and you get, didn't get a response. He emailed us in on a Saturday and he was complaining that he didn't get an email by Sunday. I'm mm -hmm. like, dude, I would not bank on responses Saturdays and Sundays. But Monday through Friday, usually once a day, whether it's morning or afternoon, she spends time checking emails, going through, answering questions, taking care of customers. You got to place an order. Just like Josh Bassford said, he's like, if you guys want to get entered to win these trucks, you've got to place an order. Like, you can't not place an order and be bummed that you never win anything if you don't enter. Like, you gotta enter, you know? So, um, take it from him and all of our past winners that said they placed an order and won something from us. You guys have a lot higher odds than you realize. For sure. Like, a lot. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. You guys are awesome. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.